Hello everyone, Drew Babies, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta. Last time, things didn't go so well, though. We managed to get to the Earth Crystal, but it was too late, the Earth Crystal broke. And well, it, it, even though even though Gal's granddaughter Cry was able to get King Tycoon out of his possession out of X Death's possession, it wasn't enough as with the with the destruction of the Earth Crystal, X Death's seal was broken and he returned to Gal's world. And Gal took off to go after him as well. So we are down a party member though, and I also went ahead and rolled the White Mage class as my last class for the Four Job Fiesta. So get to finally start working on that though. So and what the, then of course last time as well, Barth, Lena, and Ferris also talked and decided they wanted to go after Galif as well to go help him out as well. So very nice on them for th to do that though. So now, but now he's got. Now we got to head to Sid. I am w way on the wrong part of the map here. Okay, I'm a little too far south here. There's, there, there's Crescent Island, though, which is the, the little, uh, hello. There we go. That's more like it. But, but this is where we were able to go. This is where Sid was was before, though. So we're going to have to go because, because apparently he, has, because he hasn't let us down yet with the with the information there. So I don't know why Barca says they want to think of meteorites. I think Sid, I mean, I mean, Sid basically built a bunch of the machines around the crystals. And he's basically... The, the, he and Mid are basically geniuses, though. Actually, I do want to rest up a bit here, though, because I won't, even though even though it did fully heal me after coming after that finishing that section of the game. The thing is, though, I did switch jobs around, and that and that threw off stats a bit for for Ferris in particular, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and head. So now we're gonna want to go in here. See, there's no sign up, but there's a note. It's in Sid's handwriting. Adamantite leftover from the airship renovations is dangerous. Went to return it. Uh. Hope nothing has happened to Sid. It, that means so. Of course, he's not gonna say because that's just to figure it out though. But remember where we got that adamantite from? We got it from, of course, one of the meteorites. So now we can. So now we're gonna have to go on ahead back over in that direction. We're gonna have to go ahead on back over there though. So it's still gonna be a pretty short trip though, and uh, so we got. There's still gonna be a little bit that we're gonna have to do here. Though, but of course we are going to be heading over to Gal's. We're going to head over to Gal's world. Though we do need a plan though, and this is as good a start as any though. So we're going to start off by back over by this meteor right here, the one where we that, where we pretty much began our adventure. And I mean, this is where we this was indeed where we first met Galif and even Lena as well. All right, so let's go on in here, and there they are. What do you guys stay back? It's dangerous. Uh, we're the ones that had to take care of the monster th from here. Oh, a huge wave of power from from the from adamantite. Thought to put it back where it came from. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but it's like. I was about to say yeah. I mean, didn't we have to fight a boss here earlier though? The adamantoys. And were we the ones that are basically doing all this stuff? Jump at Christmas. <laughs> what is with the exclamations in this game? <laughs> the floor is absorbing the energy. <laughs> Do you think the meteorite could be recharging? Perhaps it'd be enough to, for us to travel to Gallus World. I mean, it's like, what, what are you going on about? That's right, you weren't here for this part of this conversation here. You, because if everything that happened after the Earth, after the Earth crystal, yeah, piece of adamantite is too small. Not enough power for the, to get you to the other world. Maybe if all four meteorites powers were combined. I see where you're going with this. So we're gonna have to go to each of the meteorites now. So this is one already. To the next meteorite. And well, from, from and well from here we're gonna have to go on ahead over that way though. I am gonna recommend saving by each meteorite though because just because it's a simple task of going to each meteorite and getting the adamant getting get the energy from those meteorites though. Of course there's gonna be a, it's a it's an RPG. Of course there's gonna be a catch to it. I'm gonna start off at the. I'm gonna start at the one over here by walls over here though. I'm, I'm, like, if I can, kind of barely land it over there though. Gonna go ahead and save here real fast, and we're gonna go on ahead in here and and head over to the walls meteorite though. This is where we. This is the one where that that soldier that tried to stop Garula was. So we're kind of getting a way to kind of go around each of these parts of the world again now it's also a chance to do any last minute stuff that you want to do as well that's that let's hurry up yeah there's a problem there because that thing right there is a boss 
This thing is mean. You're gonna want to silence these things because they have a couple nasty attacks. And that one only silenced one of them, really. Let's see here. All right, Ferris, how about you try silencing one of them? Uh, okay, so two two of them are silenced. Bars, you're gonna go on the you, for the time being. You're gonna go on the offense while the other two, well, Leta, Ferris, y'all are gonna be on support duty. And actually, hang on, a, I might go ahead and try to. I was about to say, did my game freeze for a second? Lena, you go ahead and go with Andara on this one here. So, and whereas Ferris, you're gonna go for another silence because again, I'm trying to stop. Because these things, will, will, these things will revive each other. Okay, so I got four of them silenced now, and that should take out one of them. Yep, arise, no effect. It's down, it's down as so, and so. No, they can still attack normally though, but I'm trying to stop some of their more, some some of their nastier stuff as well. Like, like I said, like I said, they don't attack often though, but the attacks they do have are pretty devastating here. So you're gonna keep. So Ferris, you keep silencing them right now since everyone's at full health. And that one seriously was self-destruct. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. Oh! Yeah, because that's their. T oh, and that. They, that must not been affected by silence. Ugh. Oh no! If that other one self-destructs, I'm dead. Oh, that this this was bad. I should I should have gone more on the offense here. All right, uh, you're gonna have to, Bart. You're gonna have to use a Phoenix down here. Hey, get Ferris back up, and, and then and then Ferris, you're gonna have to heal Lena, and then we're gonna have to go just go full healing right now because this this is bad. Maybe I should have been a bit more on, gone a bit more on the offense. Parts of you anytime you want to be ready to attack now. Arise, please tell me you're okay. You, you, you're, you're still silenced. That's good. So even if even if these two self-destruct, I'm still gonna win because of the. I still win because of the, because I have three party members up now. But I hate this boss. I hate this. I hate this one though because because of that self-destruct and because of the, because of that healing thing though. So only that, that one's getting silenced. Critical attack, okay. Bart, you're gonna need healing. I also need that last I also need this last one to be silenced as well, because if I kill that one though, and it's not silenced. Because if it, and it's not silenced, then a rise is gonna It's gonna use a rise to heal all the other ones that were that were KO'd. So I had so you have to stay on the silence duty though, because because again, a rise will, will, will would revive the others, so. Okay, had a bit of a scare, but I think we're gonna be okay right now. To play it safe, I'm gonna keep on that. Let's see here. I th to, to play it safe, I'm gonna cure everyone though. And even if, if this thing self-destructs, I still win because it's gonna. I, I mean, I still win because because it's the last it's the last one. It's, like, it's three on one right now. Lionel, you go ahead and thun silence it to. This is insurance that to make sure it stays silenced. You're gonna defend for now, and Bart, you can finish this one off. Arise, no effect. That's it. Like I said, silence is gonna be your best friend against these guys, though, to, to stop Arise. It's, like I said, it doesn't stop self-destruct, but that was awesome. <laughs> Never that was kind of that was kind of dragging on, though. But that is the downside with the White Mage, though, is that I don't have a lot of offensive presence. Also, gonna highly recommend. We're gonna also highly recommend to save up as well, to basically rest up and heal between between these between meteors as well because because well we just had to get through that that one though, so chances are something's gonna go wrong at the other two as well, at the other meteors as well. So also while we're here in walls, I, I should also point out right now, if you have not fought Shiva yet, this is your last chance to do so. Like during this time frame, during this time frame, I'm going for the meteorites. If you've not fought Shiva yet, this is your time. This is your last chance. This time, like, do so already, though. Like, even for 
at this point though, even if you ha don't have that much in the way of, of magic presence though, you should be able to, to tank. The, you should be able to better tank her and, her and the ice commander attacks. Not now. And so there's the second. There's the second one. So we're gonna go ahead and save here as well. And now we're gonna go on ahead in here. Go on ahead to the Karnak one though. So like I said, they, it's not that they wait for us to show up each time though. Although. Again, we have the airship. I mean, you could always just ride with us if y'all are just going to wait for us. Oh. Gadzooks! <laughs> it's a den of monsters! <laughs> Alright, a den of monsters here. So, yeah, we've got to go in here and take it out. And take the thing out this time as well, so. And so we go in here. It's a boss! Titan! I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing the protects on everyone right now, cause this thing, is, cause this one hits pretty hard physically. Bart's Bart's will be okay short term because of this, because he's because he's phys, better off physically anyway though. But I'll Bart, you go ahead and attack him with that uh, though, and throughout this fight, you're gonna want to keep your HP high because he does have one very nasty attack that I don't even think we're. That I don't even think protect helps that much against. In fact, actually, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna just gonna go and put a protect on Bart's anyway to play it safe here a bit. And I'm Bart's now is not a good time to be missing. Now is really not a good time to be missing. Yeah, but right now, honestly though, you just keep your HP high. Critical. That was a critical attack too. Oh crap! That's right. I got that healing one. Oh no! What did you? Ah! I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if this guy's even vulnerable to hold. It actually can't even be. Like, I wonder if this guy you can even is even can't even be afflicted by the aging status as well. Ferris, you go on ahead. Let's try a kind of put you to sleep. That's a no. And still not affected by aging as well. But again, I know it seems weird that I keep curing up though, because. Going up for cures because of the. Even though I'm at. Even though I'm at near good health with that though. But again, you want your HP high throughout the entire. Throughout this entire thing. Because there, again, there is. What, this guy does a nasty attack, and I'm surprised he hasn't done it yet. Let's try. Let's try confusing you. That that's a no. All right, we should be able to get away with just a regular cure now, rather than waste too much MP there. I know it's weird though. This is it, Earthshaker. This thing does a lot of damage. Look at that. Even with the, all that though, Lena still went down in one shot though. But at least, and and yes, he does end the fight with Earthshaker though. Even after you, at that though. So yeah, just as well. So, Lena missed out on some job points. But this guy was also a summon as well. So, summoners. So, so, so summoners, this guy's gonna be your friend. Now you can leave the rest to us. Oh man, that was. That was bad. Let's get to the next meteorite. Next one is over by that air. Next one that we saw was. The other one was that one that. What, there, even though it looked like they took. That Galifian crowd took off in those. Meteorites though, there are still there, there's there's still that one over oh, over there though. But you want to heal, so I'm gonna head back over here and just heal up at the nearest in at the nearest inn that I can find. And so we're gonna we're gonna go heal up over here and hopefully this because again the track record is pretty bad though with these though I mean like only one hit and actually even then the first time we went to the tight ty the tycoon one to basically go actually go inside for the adamantite though we had to find a boss there too so if these meteorites are any track or any are, are any indication there you're gonna be dealing with some some of these bosses as well also airship cannot land in the desert just point that out right now though so again as usual we're gonna save And now we get to go into this meteorite here. The gone meteorite for this last one here. Wait right here. So, oh, 
Okay, what's gonna go wrong this time? Yeah, they've been in there... Uh, they've been inside for quite some time. Yeah. Like, last time they were ambushed outside. This time they saw the thing, the monsters and went and left. This time, they're already attacked. They're, they're already attacked by monsters. By some monsters here. A manticore, and oh, that's gonna hurt! That is a bad one for you to start, to start with, though. Oh, I did not mean to do that, though. Ferris, you go ahead and kill everyone real fast up there after that attack, though. The manticore here is basically... Remember the Dorm Chimera over in the other place, though? Over in the desert, though? This thing is basically a recolor of that. And this thing is Ice Elemental, though, so don't even think about using ice on it. No, I did I, I hit right! I hit right! I didn't, re I didn't register. Well, Ferris, since I apparently can't work my D-pad, you can go ahead and cure everyone else up as well. And, and again, Frost, we've seen that before, back from Archeo Avis. And this thing, I think, is susceptible to some status conditions as well. Ouch! Like, right now, y'all are gonna be going on the off... Right now, y'all gonna be focused on healing, though, while, um... Because, again, the draining, so, again... This thing's not quite a... This thing is one of the tricky ones, because this one does not have a weakness, and it does completely absorb ice. So, you have to watch that, that to, be, to be sure, though. And, oh, he is susceptible to aging, so that's gonna help at least from... The physical side of it, though, because it does lower attack and speed, I think, for a monster, though. It's more debil... It's aging is more debilitating on your party members rather than on you. On, on, on enemies. But it still does... But it still does a number to them, though. But, yeah, this... So, yeah, but, so yeah these fights are going to be dragging on a bit, though, because White Mage, though, because... Bart's not a good time to be missing. Critical attack, yeah, that's a huge difference down right there. And, uh, okay, I think Ferris, I, I think we're okay to start going the offense a, a bit, though. So, Ferris, you go ahead and go for fire. I would, like I said, even though he's using ice elemental moves, though, it's not, it is not a weakness. And that activated the age again, but it, uh, it doesn't stack, though. And I think this is not going to be do no different there. Yeah, that was, like, no difference there. So, so spells like that aren't going to really be doing a whole lot, though. Well, I think you still got Thunder Rod equipped, so you go, you go ahead and... To go, go for that there while well, well, I'll go for that though and even if I do at least now that I'm if I do get inflicted with old again though at least I now have a as soon as to, to finally to finally get around that though and uh, there we go Mandacore is down and we, and we get a Phoenix down for that one though so that replaces the one that we've got from the that we had to use up fighting no fighting those six bomb enemies But in any case, though, that's that should be the last meteorite. Like that's all four meteorites. Now take a look at this map. Interesting. They're all yep, yep. They're converging on a point, so it's not even. So again, it's not even that you're at the. Go to one of the meteorites. If they're if they're converging at a certain point there. All four meteorites intersect. That's the warp point. Now get over there. All right, so that's it then. Th th thanks for everything. Well, with that though, now we can finally go on ahead. We can head on over there though. Fair warning, right now, this is the last chance you have to do anything in this world. If you want to restock items over over at Licks, where it's where it's cheaper, or if you have want to, or, or there's some bosses over there again, like Shiva. But like Shiva is one that you can completely miss out on. But if you go to the world right now, because once you go to that other world, there is no going back. So that's something you got. That's something you got to watch, though. So I'm actually gonna go on ahead and stock up on some, a little bit on healing real fast. So I'm also gonna actually no, I'm not gonna do that though. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go stock up on healing, and there's not a whole lot more I can really get as far as spells here. I pretty much got all the ones that I can that I can use though. I, I've skipped all the time magic ones because I, I never rolled time age. So everything's on sale, so I am not making that mistake again. I'm gonna grab some eye drops. Let's see here. Now let's go have a few of these in case I have to. I'm getting a few of each of these though in case I, in, in, in case my white mage is down. 
Getting some more gold needles. It's gonna make more sense why later, though. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab some tents as well while we're here, though. But yeah, and actually I think there's some other enemies that I haven't actually shown that I, around there because I kind of glossed over it though. So I might just go fight a couple of those. Actually, actually no, nah, because I, if, I was, if I were to have done that, I w wish I would have done that with my full party. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm forgetting here though. If it's, if it, if it's, it's it, it may be, it be something that I'm not able to do anyway because of my, because of my party setup. Still can't do anything about the, the, the about the falls over there though. I also still can't get I still can't purchase the the different accessory rings there because we don't have enough gill even with all that, so I think that's pretty much gonna be it then. So let's see where we are on the map and let's get going. Yep, there's that point right over here though. So let's go ahead and go in. The light is fading. There's not much power left. So, it's like no turning back now. That's right. A one-way trip. Sure about this, but I won't be able to come back home. Yep, this is more more important because the X-Death could always come back here, too. We're going to the bitter end. The four light warriors. Let's go. Let's go back to Farewell, Chancellor. You're going to have to run things now without either princess here. I know you can handle the looting and pillaging without me. Oh, I did forget something. Uh, it's too late now. Be good while I'm gone, Boko. There, there was a, a cutscene that I missed with Boko. Don't, don't get, don't get into too much trouble. There's a, there's a cutscene I did miss though, but it's like it's mostly cutscene. It's not really anything. Um, I forgot to go back to the pirate hideout. Ah, uh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. But in any case, though, we are going to, the, we're going to Gal's world now.